Adam here from Monster Monday. Um, it is February 13th, 2015. And I'm not pointing out the significance of that day because it's Friday the 13th. No, today is the day Monster Hunter 4 has come out. So for all the great hunters out there, this is our day. Time to move on to some new lands, new great monsters, as well as hunting some old ones. This is exciting. I just went to GameStop and I picked up the Collector's Edition. Yeah. Get a whiff of that. See? Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, and I thought I'd do something special and I thought well, we'd unbox this together. And the first great thing I noticed about when I picked this up is already outside of my little um, item box here is got a feline pin. Awesome. Just totally cool. Gotta show off that flare, right? That Monster Hunter flare. Series 1, apparently. Capcom knows how to put out a good um, collector's edition. This is the first collector's edition I've ever gotten for a game in general. Um, I've never even really pre-ordered games. I think the first game I ever pre-ordered was Resident Evil 4 when it came when it originally came out for the GameCube years ago. Um, how old was I? I I don't. I think I was. I must have been 15. But yeah, that's not the point. I, I'm just getting too into this now. Um, so I've only pre-ordered that. I think. Yeah, that's it. Um, only Resident Evil 4, which was. Again, another Capcom title. They just know how to pull me in for a good game. So, without further ado, um, let's unbox this together. Like I said, we already got the feline pin. This awesome little guy was um, taped to the item box packaging it came in. So, uh, here we go. Let's see what we got in here. They pretty much give it away on the back of the box, but I mean, it's going to be. A whole lot different opening this up and seeing it for the first time. So we take that out. See what comes on. There we go. Legitimate Monster Hunter item box. Very own item box. I know I'm going to keep this for a lot of um, sentimental items I have because I'm that kind of guy. Oh, and it's like it's like magnetized. That's really really cool. All right, I'm, I'm getting too wrapped up in this. Here we go. So let's open it up. So first we have oh, the game itself. Here we go. I've always been a big um, Monster Hunter fan, and I knew that um, this game would surely get the following it needed. I remember when the first Monster Hunter was announced, I, I think I was in the eighth grade. Um, I was, I, I was 14? I'm, no, I'm 25 now. So that's how long ago the first Monster Hunter came out. And um, I've always been a big fan of it since then. Um, yeah, unfortunately not many people liked it when it came out. I remember Game Informer giving it a very, very terrible review. Um, I was a bit upset about that because I love Game Informer. But um, to each his own, I guess whoever reviewed it just wasn't their game. And that's fine. Um... But I loved Monster Hunter 1 so much when it was released on PlayStation 2 originally. I played the hell out of that game. Um, yeah, Monster Hunter 2, um, I really didn't play. I played a slight bit of it when it was released on the PSP. It was Monster Hunter uh, Freedom 2. Um, I didn't play Unite. I think Unite's the only one I really missed. But um, that even dived into the second generation as well. But... Um, I didn't play Monster Hunter 3 when it originally came out because um, I didn't have a, a DS system at the time it came out, and I didn't have a Nintendo Wii when it came out, so I had um, no viable way of uh, playing that game. Um, that, that upset me, but I always um, looked into it. I always watched um, YouTubers doing um, Let's Plays of the game and getting familiarized with um, some of the new third-gen monsters, and that was cool, especially to see them coexisting with the first and second gens. And it just looked really great. Um, but I finally picked it up uh, last year and I started playing 3 and it was amazing. And it was really great to actually really get into that game since I really couldn't get into 2, unfortunately. Um, 
but you know just one was always a great game and I think since it was released onto its um, handhelds it grew a real cult following I mean, it's a phenomenon in Japan it is amazing over there what they do for this series I mean they have the, um, the exhibit in uh, their uh, in the Japan Universal now so that's really cool that's really amazing I love it and I would love to go to Japan to just visit that um, exhibit just to see that the giant animatronic monsters and everything really cool and they did a really great job putting um, work into that um, so now we have the fourth gen and we're here so now let's continue and totally uncut we are going to unbox this sorry I'm having a camera difficulties bear with me I didn't want any cuts I wanted this to all be raw and real um, so again we had the game and the, and the pin and we open up the item box and, it's, and that's nothing Oh my god. They gave us another pin. That is cool. That is really cool. So now I got two feline pins. That is awesome. Um, I believe this. Oh, I was really, really looking forward to this. And um, I don't want to get too off topic here, but I used to be a big Skyrim player back in the day. And I remember... Um, when I got that game, they said that uh, a map was going to come with it, and they said it was going to be cloth, but I remember it being, like, papery and stuff, but, um, we got a cloth here, a cleaning cloth, a Monster Hunter, uh, hang on, I'm going to turn this around a minute, and it's pretty much capturing the essence of, uh, the lay of the land for this game, as well as the, um, you know, capturing, I think there's, there's a little few monsters in there. I, I could be wrong, um, but yeah, this is our cleaning cloth, and it's really cool and truly captures the essence of uh, the Monster Hunter artwork, um, so I'm looking forward to, um, to be honest, I'm probably going to try to use this as least as possible, because I know, I know it's used to clean things, but oh my God, it's just so beautiful to look at, so that's that's really great. Um, we have a, a lanyard um, with our famous uh, Monster Hunter icons again. Um, I always loved the way the artwork went into this game. Very uh, tribal in a sense. And uh, yeah, these are um, this is I was upside down. I'm sorry. But yeah, these are some most of them. And uh, that's, so that's cool to have the lanyard. I mean, I'm probably really not going to use it for anything, but it's um it's cool to have. Um, uh, yeah, you know, just um, really quick one thing. I, I said, I'll, I'll probably post a photo of it eventually, but I just got a um, a Godzilla t-shirt. Uh, the artist did it in the style. Um, it was of Biolanti from the um, late, late 80s movie. And um, they did, um, the artist did Biolanti in the style of um, basically um, these um, Monster Hunter icons. And he did more of um, other Godzilla um Characters he did he did Godzilla himself of course he did Mecha Godzilla Rodan um, Ghidorah Mecha Ghidorah um, very cool and um, he did he even did Pokemon in the style of it too so um, if I remember the artist's name when I I'll, I'll do a photo of the shirt eventually when um whenever it's convenient I had it on yesterday I should have done it yesterday but I didn't um, but I just love the Monster Hunter artwork and last but not least in our um, item box. Here's our stand. This is, this is gonna be great. This is the figure of Monster Hunter's newest flagship monster. Oh wow, you actually have to put this together. That's cool. That, that's cool. We can have some fun with this. I like putting stuff together anyway. Um, but this is the newest monster. The um, Gore Magala. And I hope I'm saying that right. I, if there's anything... My biggest struggle in Monster Hunter is um, pronouncing the names correctly. So if someone could shine some light, if I did pronounce that um, correctly, that'd be great. But... He is a new monster, and he's spreading some kind of virus into the land that is making the monsters uh, stronger. You know what? We are going to put this thing together right now. So let's do it. Alrighty. Uh, 
that mean? There's a wing. I believe that's a wing. Yeah. Um, and we have. This is really, really deep. Um, we're gonna get there. I should have brought a knife with me or something. Everything easier. I believe this is for the stand. Probably put that underneath it. It's fine. And boom, and our other wing. Let's get all of this plastic out of the way. really cool. This goes across in and latches into the other side. Oops, wait. Let me get that right. Very cool. Very cool. What I like about this monster is that he has his um, traditional four legs, but on his wings he has two additional arms. So he's got six in total. Very cool. Very cool. Ready on the stand here, and we'll be in business. I'm so glad for those who are watching that we got to um, share this moment together. Does this go on the bottom? Is that how this works? I wish there was an instruction manual, actually. Um, I don't even know what this is truly for. Um, for the time being, um, let's see what I can do with this. One, two, and three. And there you have it. It's got his little stands, and this is going right on my um, nightstand with my um, albums and my comics. Oh boy. I'm going to treasure the hell out of this item box. This is just. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. And it, it's kind of, it feels a lot sturdier than I um, expected it to be. For the time being, let's put all this in here. And, um, yeah, just again, I, I, I can't get enough of this. I, these, are, these are just too cool. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to wear these at like a convention or something. If applicable. Very cool. So in a nutshell, that is Monster Hunter 4 Collector's Edition. And um, I'm gonna take, say this time, whoever's watching, say, um, thank you. And anyone that's got this game, I hope you as well got the Collector's Edition if you were able to. Um, I don't know about in-game stuff for the Collector's Edition, so I'm gonna you know, slap it into my DS and take it a go and see if we got anything um, interesting in game as well. Maybe items or costumes or who knows. Um, I saw photos of stuff insinuating there might be, but I couldn't. Maybe I was looking in the wrong place. So I couldn't get a clear answer. But yeah, um, this is Monster Hunter Four Day. So everyone enjoy what is surely to be an amazing game because all the rest were. Here we are. It's hunting season.